You mentioned in your questionnaire that you felt that the tinnitus was, that you were fearful that the tinnitus was going to get worse. Yes. Tell me about that. Um, sometimes the tinnitus is it's typically constant, but sometimes it freaks out and it's like wee or boo or something like that. And then it settles again on the regular tinnitus. And that's, that's when I get, get really worried about the future and uh, feel depressed because uh, I, can, I can imagine this go on forever. Okay. And it's just another adding to my tinnitus uh, okay. addition to So it's not uncommon that, who, that people who have tinnitus notice changes in their tinnitus. But you feel when you hear these changes that the tinnitus is th that the tinnitus might stay at that high level. Is that correct? Yes. What evidence do you do you have that would suggest to you that it would stay at that high level? Well, I have my tinnitus now, yeah. okay. <laughs> so that's that is one example. But um, otherwise, I don't have any evidence. So, I mean, when it gets, when it has in the past gotten louder, mm. has it then subsequently gone back to its baseline? Yes, within a couple of minutes. And that happens frequently? That happens uh, um, weekly or something like that. Okay. So it suggests to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it suggests to me then that the evidence, that the likelihood of your tinnitus getting loud and staying loud is less likely than your tinnitus getting loud and then coming back to its baseline. Yes, it would be, it is less likely, I would, okay. I would guess, yes. Okay, so this concept that you worry about your tinnitus getting loud and staying loud, mm. really is, is it really borne out by the facts or by the evidence then? No, okay. no it's not. And, and does it, when you think about your tinnitus getting loud and staying loud forever, that makes you feel how? It makes me feel uh, very depressed, uh, thinking that it might be something that changes uh, that, uh, to the worse. Okay. That, that it gets worse. Okay. Um, but it, it's it's a, it's the feeling that I have. Okay. It, and and the feelings that you have are valid. However, the thoughts that you have that get you to those feelings. Mm -hmm may not be always valid because again if the evidence suggests that your tinnitus can get worse but then always comes back to its baseline if that's a different thought that you can have and that thought is borne out more by the evidence how does that make you feel well if if i can accept that it's just kind of visiting or that it's mm -hmm. there for a short uh, period, uh, and I know that by myself, then 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 it would be tolerable. Definitely. Okay. Then it would be just. Well, it will go away again. Okay, good, and I'm I'm glad to hear you. You know, stating that. Again, <coughs> some of these alternative thoughts, which I want you to think about, mm. you don't even have to believe them perfectly, but I want you to recognize that there are alternative ways of thinking about things. And if those alternative thoughts tend to be as valid as the negative thoughts, or what we might call thought errors, the alternative thoughts will tend to make you feel better. And if you feel better and you have more confidence in your ability to cope with the tinnitus, that can only be a good thing as far mm. as I see it. Mm. Okay. Mm.